Welcome back to ESC Summer 21, we're raising money for Save the Children. Links to donate can be found below the stream. We would also like to thank Twitch and ViewSonic for sponsoring this event. Now, it's time for Sonic to run some Sonic 1 SMS. <laughs> Take it away, Arjik. I go, hey, didn't you say you had something what to do beforehand? Oh, right. Thank you for reminding me, Sonic. We did get a, at the end here a wholesome $50 donation here from Bongo. I need to get up real quick. Thank you so much, ESA and the runners for another fantastic week. You're all making a difference in the world. You may not see it today, but you're helping those who are not able to help themselves yet. Invest in our future. We're strongest together. And that is 100% true, Bongo. As we have raised 51,000 already this week, that is amazing. And you guys deserve so much credit. But without further ado, Arjik, the floor is yours. Thank you. Well, as you all know, folks, I am in the outfit. It was a donation incentive. One day I will wear this at an in-person event, but for now, online will have to do. You can't really see, but I do have the bottoms and the speedy shoes on as well. But the main thing is, we've got the hat, we've got the gloves. So without further ado, let us get ready with the run. Here we go in three, two, one, and we're off. So... This is Sonic 1 on the SMS, also known as the Sega Master System, but some people think it's the short message system or even Super Mario Sunshine. So what we're going to do is we're going to do what Sonic is known for best. We're going to run our way through here and then we're going to grab this little invincibility shield, roll down the hill and hopefully launch ourselves off the camera and go all the way along at the end because as long as we're not on screen, nothing exists to stop us and away we go and stop at the signpost. Ta-da! And there you go, we're done. So we at the signpost there very slowly because otherwise the signpost will spin around and cause us a lot of time loss. And we don't want that to happen. But there is stage one done already. So we're about to jump into stage two here as well. Once again, going into Green Hills. And again, a big thank you to every single one of you who's donated through the event for us wearing this lovely outfit. We do have an emote for it called Argic Boss. If you have that, please just post it throughout the run because, you know, I look like a final boss. So we're going to roll through the water here. And the reason we're going to roll through the water is because normally Sonic moves very slowly in water. But if you can get into ball form here, you just go at your normal ball form speed. It's great. That'll become very important in a future level here. So we're going to jump off our springs, get over the platform cycles here that we don't need to really worry about. I almost fell off there, but I can see. So we're going to launch off the ramp. We're going to stop at the bottom here. Because once again, we don't want to go too fast past the sign here. And we're about to come into our first boss. So just like Sonic 1 here on the, the Mega Drive, this one also has two stages, then a boss stage which is really good. The difference, though, is this third stage is really short, and then we get to go into the boss here itself. Now, our boss on this stage is going to fly across the top of the screen, and we can't hit him until he starts to descend down. Uh, we might get lucky on the second set, where we'll manage to get a frame-perfect hit on him, because he's just one pixel too high for us to be able to hit him right now, which is going to suck. So we're just going to sit at this palm tree here, and we're going to wait and see what happens. If he can come along, like, I can't hit him as much as I try. It's just like, nope, he's too high there. But he will come back. We're going to get seven hits on the way down, and then hopefully we'll get our eighth hit in a quick kill. So we're going to jump one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He runs away. We're going to line up and hopefully get our eighth hit for a quick kill here when we angle down. Gets the hit. Nope. Try it again. Nope. Try it again. Nope. Yay! There you go. Third time's the charm, as we get to go through on this one. And uh, yeah, I have been practicing with this on, which is nice. So uh, the gloves shouldn't be hampering to me too much. Um, the fingers are a bit too big. And uh, the, the, the hat here is being held on by my nose because the hat's too big for my face. <laughs> but we're coming through now. We're going to go on to our next level into the bridge zone here. The tune might sound a little bit familiar to you all. This is where we're going to use the rolling off the edge to our advantage here. So we just managed to land that, land on the top side here, dodging the shield there. The reason we don't want the shield is because you're about to see a lot of lag in this video game. Um, the game, obviously, being on the Master System, only has so much processing power. And the problem is, the more objects that are on screen, the more likely it is to lag. And when you have enemies and moving platforms and the waterfall system, it, it tends to get a little bit laggy here. But we're all right. We're making our way through here. Making sure I don't have 50 rings by the time I finish the stage here. I've got to make sure I don't have 50. Oh, 49. Because if you have 50 and you finish the level here, you will get an exclamation mark that will take you into the bonus stage filled with all the twisters. And we don't want to go there because that's slow, it loses time, and it's very, very bad. But now we're coming into bridge two, which is an auto-scroller. So, Ladar, take it away. Two minutes is yours. 
Oh boy, two minutes, you say? Well, yeah. the donations keep piling in, so this is perfect. Let's start off with $10 from our wild munchlax that says... Gotta support Arg, a streamer whose content and positive attitude helped me through the tough times of these recent years. Thanks for being you, and thank you for that amazing $10 donation. We also got $10 from Baglory that says... Some say, this isn't even Arg's final form. Best of luck with the run, Arg. Show Robotnik was the real final boss. I'm sure he definitely will. Thank you so much. We also got $50 from Sam with no comment, but thank you anyway. That is so generous. And finally, we got $10 from Big the Dave. Uh oh. I got nothing. Wait, what do you mean you got nothing? You were supposed to give us a pun! <laughs> what do you mean you've got nothing? No, Dave, don't do this to me! <laughs> Anyways, Aww. Sam and Big the Day both donated towards the Dark Souls bid war, and they picked the Dark Lord choice, and because of that, the Dark Lord ending is now in the lead with $488, with Link the Fire at $468. So guys, if you want to make Link to Fire be in the lead again, you gotta get those donations in. I can't believe Big the Dave has no pun for me. It's because of the suit, isn't it? Oh, dearie me. Oh, good fun. Thank you for all your donations and your kind words there, folks. Again, everything for the kids here, you know. We are about to come up to the end of our old school here, which is very nice. Once again, you saw that we grabbed over 100 rings there, which gives us an extra life and then rounds us back down to zero. So I look up here to make sure we try and minimize the amount of lag we can on that bridge that's falling down. And because we have 13 rings here, we should finish with another lovely little extra life. And then you can see just some of the blue leaking over into the signpost itself there, which is all good. But now we're going to come in to the bridge boss, and we do have a lovely little quick kill coming up for this one. The boss is going to be like a little submarine coming in and out of the water, but what we're going to do is we're going to get it in two quick cycles here. As it's going to jump up, and we're going to have four hits on each side, eight hits to kill. We just need to see where it comes out, so we go one, two, three as the boss moves down. We get the fourth one on the way down in the water there. The boss comes up the other side, and we go one, two, three, and four. Make sure we don't get hit by any of the bullets down. The boss is gone, but it's in the water, so you can't really see him, and we get a finish. And now we're going to one of the hardest stages in the game. Even harder when your hands are the size of a giant glove. Uh, we're going into jungle. So the whole point of jungle here is jungle is filled with lots of precise platforming. And I need to just make sure I do not fall in any of the holes or fall in any of the water. But we'll see what happens. I make no promises. Jungle, of course, though, has an absolutely jamming tune. It's so fun. It's so cheering. Going to run and jump our way through here on the vines. Just going to basically hold right for as long as we can here. There will be slight areas where I'll let go just because we don't want to fall into spikes or into the water. I will take it safe and I will hit the checkpoints. I normally don't hit those boxes. Those boxes are our checkpoint boxes. You hit them and you'll respawn there when you die. When you do die though, you have to make sure you re-hit them because they become available again. So we're going to run our way through here. I'm at 19 rounds. I'm going to take a deliberate damage boost there as well because I don't want to go to the end of the level and have a... Uh, well, have a bonus stage. So jump on the log, over the log, on the other one, do the blind jump down at the bottom there, which we land on it nicely. Jump up to the log, down to the other side, round on the checkpoint again. Here's our friendly log to take us over. And let's see if we can go from this to the launch. On we go, on the log. Can we do the log? Yeet! No, we went too fast. We didn't land on the log there. If you can land on the other log, you can yeet over the entire section of the water there, finishing the stage in 49 seconds with 30 rings, which is nice. And uh, yeah, you can see the signpost. You'll get uh, an extra life, which will give you an extra life. You can get the rings, which will give you 10 rings. Or you can get an Eggman, which will give you nothing. That's based entirely on the ring count, but enough of that as we're going to go climb the waterfall here. We're climbing all the way up the top. You can see the screen is moving up with us. The quicker we go, the quicker the stage is. The downside is, if we fall down the bottom there, it's a kill plane and it's going to kill me. So I don't want to fall off any of the platforms here. Making sure we run up the log. Some of them will be static. Some of them will have spikes on them. And some of them will, of course, be moving. You've also got the fish here. The fish can sometimes save your life if you're very lucky with it. But otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. We're going to land on this. Hit the checkpoint box as well. Enemies are going to start spawning in. I'm going to try and get them off the screen as quickly as we can. Because once again, every single little thing that's on screen, be it an enemy, be it a projectile, be it a log, be it a platform, can all cause some lag here. And we're making sure we just get all the way up the top here, making sure the screen is moving. There's an extra life. I'm going to ignore because we're already at eight. We don't need any more. If you run our way up the air, up, up, up. Up, 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 we're gonna go on log one, we're gonna go on log two, jump from log three and from log three, plane jump all the way up, landing on the platform, taking me up to the top at the end of the stage here, which is very nice for us because now I can move and don't have to worry about falling off. Yay! 
So in to jungle number three, this is where we're going to climb some vines and we're going to head into the licorice boss. And the reason I call it licorice boss is because it's going to drop some licorice all sorts and we're going to make sure we don't touch them. Even when they disappear, we're going to make sure we don't touch them. So our hitbox lingers and it's a bit of a pain in the bump. We'll see if we can get a quick kill on this boss though. It is eight hits that we need. So here we go. Up to the top on the vines here. Jumps are all going well. Game's not eating my inputs yet. We're going to wait when the boss comes in. We start moving. We get jump one. We get jump number two. We get jump number three. Dodge like there's also only jump number four. Jump number five on the side here. Jump number six. Get jump number seven. Dodge away from the boss. Get jump number eight. And there you go. That is a very smooth, quick boss kill. Now we're going to get to phase number two here. We're always going to run and jump. Make sure it doesn't eat my boss. There, there, no, it doesn't eat my input. Second boss complete. You think I'm kidding? If you try and do that jump the moment Eggman goes off screen, the game lags ever so slightly and will steal your input, and you will fall down and you will have to do that level again. But now we're coming into probably one of my favorite levels here. It is Labyrinth. This is where the water physics are going to come in handy because this level is entirely based in water. So we're going to move really, really slow here unless we're in ball form. It's also a good level because it has my favorite song. It's the banana song. You can just sing banana to it. Like this. And then I get hit by the spike there, but that's all right. So the bubbles here are going to help us through. And what we're going to go through is we're going to run all the way over, trying to make sure we gain the air here, jump all the way through. And this is where we're going to do one of the only tricks in the run here. Uh, we're going to take a deliberate damage boost, get over the enemy, and then we're going to go half in the wall, and we're going to do a vertical zip. We're going to zip all the way up the top here, stand in the wall, and whoop, up the top we go. You can see the game there doing the countdown, but we're lucky. Going to roll off the edge, so we gain a big boost of speed. We don't have to worry our way over there. Don't have to saunter over with Sonic's little swag walk. Dodge the spike on that side, jump up and over, go through to the end of the stage here. And Labyrinth 1 is actually being quite nice, which is great. So we're going to go through now in a lab 2, which is going to be more of the same. But I'm going to sing along to the tune while I'm describing what I'm doing, because as I say, I love the stage's theme, and it's great. The other thing you'll notice is there is no drowning music on this one, so you don't have to worry about anxious drowning music clearing when you're uh, running out of air. So here we go, it's Labyrinth 2. We're gonna slide all the way through. Then we do a big jump, and we're gonna head and an army. Then we're going to go and repeat the thing and get a boost of speed, yes siree. Going to go doing the bottom of the thing, new dodging all the spikes and grab an extra ring and do a damage boost, cause then we go some faster, here comes all the timer, keep an eye on the number, cause we're going to go real fast. And no grab bubble, cause they are slow, and give me trouble. So I'm going to roll off the edge and not get hit by fireball. We roll the way up the wall and do the zip, here we go. As we run to the end of the level, the bubble is right nice now. Gonna grab a spring and go up to the top now. Jumping over here to try and get some speed up. Then we're gonna go out water and get up to the end of level. Then we go to the boss and probably in trouble. There was a chaos emerald in the spike, but we don't need it new. And there we go, that's the stage done. I just love to sing along in the song because it's a nice little ditty there and it's good fun. But as I said, we are now heading into Labyrinth 3 because Labyrinth 3, it's a fully underwater level. But thankfully, the developers were very nice and it doesn't actually have an air counter for us here. So all I have to worry about is trying to get the quick kill on the boss. Uh, that is easier said than done. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and get a double hit on the boss when he pops up in the middle, triple hit on the left and the right. So we're going to start with a small jump here, bounce off the boss once, bounce off the boss twice, immediately head back, dodge the bullets there, which is nice. Aim on this side, going to go jump once, try and get again, immediately land, do a second jump, immediately jump again, get a third one, we don't get hit, but we get that, nice! Slinging over to the other side here, slinging over, jump one, try and get again, jump two, try and get again, jump three, we get the boss quick kill, there you go, you gotta love that! Dodging the edge of the missiles there, not overlapping our hitboxes, allows us to get a quick kill. I am very happy about that. Keep an eye on our life counter at the bottom there, because it says 9 while we're in the level. But have a look at what it says when we're actually on the uh, score screen here. It only shows you 9 when you're in the game, but hopefully we're on about 10 or 11. Nope, we are still on 9 right now, but that will go up higher. And while we're coming into Scrap Brain, Scrap Brain here is a very nice platforming stage. Nothing that we really need to worry about too much. So, Lada, please take it away. Wow, you guys are nuts, because while Arctic was singing and having fun here, we met the ESA Summer 2020 milestone. We have proceeded to pass 51,985. We are right now 
keep moving onward. We're almost at 52k. So, Arjik, let's just say I'm gonna have to take the entirety of Scrap here to read some donations because I'm clogged over here. So, Go let's get this it. party started. Let's get it started. Yeah. Twenty dollars from Anonymous with no comment, but thank you so much. Thirty-five dollars from Pika Flu that says, "Waiting all week to donate during Arctic Run." One of my favorite runners. We got an amazing one hundred dollar donation from Plato twenty-eight seventy-six that says, "Here's to a stylish run, Arctic." Thank you so much, guys, for those amazing donations. Five dollars from Tiny Team that says, "Hey all." Arjik, the most amazing, speediest scout on the planet. Love you, my friend. You are awesome. Cheers. Thank you so much, Tim. $5 from RTN that says, Got to donate for my fellow Scotsman and a great guy, Argic. Love me some Sanic. Gotta go fast. Thank you so much. $25 from Astral Storm that says, Someone should make a Sumari opposite with this character in it. Hmm, that's a good idea. Thank you so much for that lovely donation. $10 from Paquette that says, Gotta go moderately, terribly fast. Now nah, we're going full fast here. $5 from Shore that says, Put a piss. Sonic isn't real. He can't hurt you. Arjik, gotta go fast. Heart, thank you guys so much for those lovely donations. $50 from... Hey, sir, one with no comment, but thank you for that amazing donation. We also got $5 from Sivirius Kane that says, How does a parrot monk start a fight? With an Arctic? Oh god, the puns are coming in. Thank you so much for that donation anyway. $50 from Econo Scott that says, Have to make a suit? A ball pun during Arctic Sonic Run, otherwise he might feel blue. Thank you for that amazing $50, Scott. We also got $20 from Tofu Boy that says, Best of luck with the run, Arctic. The best final boss ever. Keep up the great work, everyone. I agree. Thank you, Tofu. And keep this amazing, because while I'm reading this, we hit 52k? What? Yeah. <laughs> they keep coming in. I don't have time to read them all. Let's get okay. this final one in before I process give me, everything. Give me two seconds before you do it. Just for you all know, there's going to be serious strobing coming on the next stage. So if you are sensitive to photo ep epilepsy, please look away right now. Uh, it's a very, very flashy stage on this one. But go ahead. Yeah, thank you for that warning, everyone. Please look away if you are sensitive. But while we are moving on, I'm gonna read this $5 again from Cifrius Kane that says, I had a pet hedgehog called Nick. One day, a few years back, he went missing. Last week, though, when I was coming back from the shops, I thought I saw Nick. Let's hope you actually find him. It sucks when an animal goes missing, but uh, hopefully he's out there taking care of himself. It's a pun, Ladar. It's a pun. Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to stay neutral here, okay? I'm denying the puns here. You will fail, but I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly process these new donations while you have fun with the run. <laughs> oh, there was sky base, folks. That one obviously is an entire cycle base stage, but it does have the strobe lightning effects. Thankfully, that is gone now. We're about to come into one of the hardest stages in the game now, Sky Base 2. It's all about Tara RNG. Let's see if our turrets are going to be nice. Uh, we are about to come up to the end of the run as well. These are the last two levels. The turret there was nice, the turret there was not so nice, and that turret is definitely not nice. So now I'm going to have to wait for these three bullets to go through. So not the greatest Tara RNG, but at least we're still making it through. We're going to jump over, do a nice big skip over the top of the level, and uh, just say, now nah, we ain't doing that one, so that one's done. We are now coming into the final level where we need to get about 12 hits on the boss. If Ark can do math, which hint he can't, we're going to try and do a skip where we get inside the boss's hitbox and then dodge all the lightning effects. And then time is coming up when I jump into the portal here. You can see that we are at 10 lives, about to be at 11 and when we hit 25. There we go. And uh, we're going to go through. So let's hope we can finish this one in style. Can you say that way, Rene? Really Let's find out. As we run our way through, down, and then roll through into the boss. Here we go. Jump one. Lands in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait for eight. Eight. Wait for nine and jump out. Nine. Jump out. Dodge the lightning ball. Wait for the lightning fence to activate one more time. Get your final three hits. 
10, 11, 12, and away we go. Time is coming up when I hit the portal here. Time! And there you go! That is Sonic 1 Sega Master System completed in a Sonic outfit, which is like, yeah, it's fun. I love it. It's great. I hope you all enjoyed the run. Thank you very much, everybody, for your donations there. Greatly appreciated. Maybe one day we'll wear this at an in-person event and you get to see the full thing, you know. But for now, Ladar, if you've got any final words, let's, uh, let's, let's keep this marathon going. Absolutely. Before we head out here, we, I have processed those final donations that came in here for you, so I'm going to quickly read them out. We have, once again, $5 from Kane. What do you call a mix of an Irish streamer and an Australian animal? A meta koala? Oh, God. Thank you anyway, Kane. <laughs> I'm going to have to send it to him later. $5 from Soneris that says, Hello, Arjik. I mean Sonic. I mean Robin. I, I, I mean, I don't know what I mean. Good luck on the run. Thank you, Soneris. And last but not least, Wiper with an amazing $100 with the following message. Come on, Sonic. I mean, Arg, go into Super Sonic. Best of luck with the run, mate. Thank you guys so much for those lovely donations. And coming up now, stay tuned, because we have some Halo 3 with uh, Gilk Jr. coming up. But first, intermission. <laughs>